What's up YouTube? Back with another video. Uh, this one's a little bit different. This isn't a build video. Uh, I've had a few people on some of the Facebook pages ask me about the disc brake setup for the dually trucks, uh, which are different than like your single wheel 14 bolts. Uh, so I'm just going to go through some parts and the things that I did and the things that work best and a parts list and uh, where to order them. So here's the disc brake setup in the back of my 85 crew cab dually. You can see big discs, single, big single pistons, and lines, and everything. Everything's all, all the brake lines are all custom made. Uh, these trucks usually have a proportioning valve back here that's uh, a weight distribution proportioning valve. And when you lower these trucks, or when you swap to disc brakes, they will not work. So I cut them out. So custom brake lines, custom bent brake lines. The rotors are from a 2005 Chevy Van 3500. Uh, the brackets are from DIY 4x, which is a uh, really good quality. I've had the disc brakes on here for about a year, and none of the powder coat has chipped off or anything. I've really, been really impressed with those, and it's a pretty good company. Uh, brake calipers are K20 fronts. Nothing special there. The brake lines themselves are from a 1980 CJ7 and they're for a front axle. So nothing crazy there. And then just uh, some weld on tabs. Nothing crazy there. And then just a Y block, custom hard lines, no big deal. If you are going to go this setup, you do need to change out the proportioning valve that's in the front of the truck. I'll put the part number down below. Uh, I'll put all these parts down below with as many part numbers as I could get. I've struggled in the past with people that sold a full kit and it wasn't a full kit. It had like weld on mounts and stuff and I'm not down with that. I don't really want to cut my flanges off. Uh, I'm not even sure how you would cut these flanges off. Seems how they're welded to the axle and just on the left on this side would be like your bearing races. And you really don't want to get any hot metal, especially if you're like using a torch or something. You wouldn't want to get any hot metal on a smooth bearing surface. So I'm not sure how you cut those off. These DIY 4x uh, caliper mounts work really good, really high quality. They even called me before I ordered to make sure that's exactly what I wanted and asked me what I was doing. So pretty impressed with DIY 4x. I'll leave a link to that down below. But all this other stuff, you can all order it all on uh, Rock Auto. It's no big deal. You do have to remove the hubs. I wish I had the wheels off to give you a better look, but you do have to remove the hubs and press out the studs because the rotors press into, or the studs go through the rotors and then through the hubs. So I just bought Rock Auto studs, OEM style, and then uh, went over to my buddy's shop that has a press. And But if you don't have a press, Napa will do it for pretty cheap. It's not that big of a deal. So, really happy with the disc brakes. Man, it stops these big ass tires like like uh, nobody's business. So, I'm very happy. Again, guys, thanks for watching. I hope you learned a little bit about disc brakes. Uh, this isn't my first time doing this, uh, so I kind of know what I'm talking about. So, I'll drop uh, a complete parts list down below and uh, links to DIY 4 by and Rock Auto. You don't need a link to that. I'm sure we've all ordered stuff off Rock Auto by now. So if you have any comments, questions, or concerns, you can drop them down below. I'll do my best to answer them. Uh, until then, peace.